Hi my friends, now let's create the uh, parallel axis coupling the assembly. We have parts and we create the assembly. Look at me. New assembly place. First part is this and we place grounded at origin this part. Now the others. I, I use space and uh, select part and then escape to leave that part. Space one, two, escape, space, one, escape, another one, escape, the cross, the crank, and the two sliders. This is the situation like uh, I placed them on a table but they are somewhere in the air. The only plate is fixed. The other can be moved. Yes? This is where we start. And now let's constrain them to create the assembly. We use constrain with the insert constraint opposite not aligned. We start by placing these pins, axles at their position. As you can see the part I choose the first is the part which is moved. The other is in its place even if it is uh, movable. Yes. Now I go down to use the same constraint for placing other assemblies, sub assemblies in their places. This comes on this, so I place you see, this part came here, but I don't want this. I want to put this on the on the bearings. So I choose this to place here. Apply. I choose this to place here. Apply. Now we have the plate and two independent sub-assemblies will need to be placed in their position. As you already know, this is what we intend to do. To place now the bearings in these channels and uh, then to uh, make the connection between these sliders with the channels. So constrain. First I uh, place the high bearing 
and I place it here face to face apply and then uh, face to channel face apply and now there is only one degree of freedom for this sub assembly we know that the uh, point the center point of this uh, round face is uh, uh, on the center of the part so we choose the center point of this part very high to place on the plate considering its cross plane this yes let's do it constraint center point with this plane now it is in position I cannot move this uh, bearing good now the other the bottom of the bearing with the bottom on the bottom of the channel like this apply and then this this face on this face of the channel apply again this part is free mode along the channel so I go to the I choose center point to be placed on the center plane of the plate now there are two different uh, rotation that are free as you can see we constrain now the slider to be in contact with faces of the cross of the channel in the cross constrain face on face apply and the other face on the other channel this is all okay F6 I'll change the uh, point of view set current view as home fit to view this one and now no matter how it's placed, when I click here, I see the, the assembly in position. What does this assembly as a, a technical intention? It transfers rotation from an axle to the other when they are parallel and not coaxial you see this possibility ok another enhancement of the uh, presentation is to choose uh, shaded with edges to have a contour of every part okay now let's make another thing uh, we already know you will see I choose angle first solution to constrain the crank to be parallel with the plate you see okay 
now I go to the crank and I see here the constraint angle which is my uh, goal because now I can start movement automatically as you know from the uh, previous from the previous tutorial this is okay and now let's go to the bonus how I promised watch me now I'll show you how to uh, create an exploded assembly uh, based on uh, the last uh, model we made together look here instead of uh, selecting this template or this template now I select this one standard millimeters IPN inventor presentation IPN as this is inventor part and this is inventor uh, assembly double click and we are asked about the subject the subject is the the assembly we just made as you can see we have here a timeline is very simple we activate tweak components this tool we select the part we want to move from the assembly and because uh, we don't have now a, uh, an arrow up I look here to change the situation the uh, reference to the world and now I have these three uh, arrows and I move all the uh, selected parts as you can see the um, the important is uh, to leave a space between parts to see that there is nothing behind them this is the first moment now I can see here uh, uh, green uh, line this is the time in seconds 0 1 2 two and a half seconds for this movement I can uh, uh, bring back the parts so I can go back with all I can explode this part you see uh, what uh, is next uh, seems to be very simple tweak components I select the cross I keep shift pressed and I select also the uh, bearing and now I use the, the arrow to move outside yes there is a space here uh, these two parts are moved back okay another movement now I, I want to leave in place the sliders and their uh, axles and to move uh, to the left uh, the uh, 
short uh, bearing and the crank quick components I select this shift and I select also this and I move so now I want to uh, continue the movement together with these two sliders I keep shift pressed and I select this and this and I continue the movement till they are departed not together now I finish this moment I apply a new tweak components only for this bearing I move it so and now up and now once again to the left you can make anything you want okay and here I see this must be also moved to the back so okay I I press the key home to see all the situation I keep F3 and I uh, zoom in a little centered here now all the parts are visible and you can uh, watch how they are put back in place by using this arrow the last movement is the first one now anyone can understand how is this assembly created and you are free to uh, find and create any other uh, exploded uh, movie like this one in other tutorial in the future tutorials I'll present you how to make a movie with this bye bye